When it comes to vehicles, Americans must not like the image of being mothers and fathers. Baby boomers abandoned station wagons in the 80s because their parents drove them. Minivans suffered the same mommy mobile stigma in the mid 90s. I'm Tom Volk with Driven for the New York Times. Fashion forward families have now migrated to crossovers such as the third generation Hyundai Santa Fe. And why not? It's a decent looking rig. Keep in mind, there are two Santa Fe's. This one, which is just called uh, the Santa Fe, it has three rows of seating. And there's the Santa Fe Sport. It gets two rows. Sport gets stronger lines. Santa Fe, uh, the big one, is drawn more conservatively and is about four inches smaller than Ford Explorer in every exterior dimension. Santa Fe replaces Veracruz and can seat up to seven. Have fewer children if you want this fancy limited model. It only has chairs for six. This one is fully optioned. The price is just under 39 grand. The heated mid row adjusts to give those in back a little extra room. There are handy extras, but a DVD entertainment system is not on the option list. Sport gets its go from two different four cylinders. The three row Santa Fe is only available with a 3.3 liter V6. It's smooth and makes 290 horsepower, tow up to 5,000 pounds. The transmission is a six speed, steering effort can be adjusted right down to feather light. Santa Fe moves out quite nicely. The EPA MPG numbers are among the best in class. 18 city, 24 highway with all wheel drive. Hyundai says the all wheel drive system doesn't just react to road surfaces. It anticipates traction needs and sends torque to the proper wheels. Brake torque vectoring helps Santa Fe corner smartly. A small consolation for parents who wanted a sports car. If you can swing the extra $2,900 for the technology package, it's a great value. You get a high-end Infiniti sound system, navigation, heated steering wheel, and a glass roof that completely changes the ambience of the vehicle. The two Santa Fe's share the same basic interior look with some unique and rich looking textures. Parents don't need extra frustrations. Nice that the storage nooks, intuitive interface and supportive seats with heat are well done. So the question is, will adults fit back here? Yes, for short trips, keep it to kids around five feet tall so everyone's happy. There's a climate zone back here and a spot for snacks and drinks. The mid row can be dropped by this handy release in the cargo area, resulting in a completely flat load floor. Power lift gates can be very convenient. They can also make you very impatient. There's room for a couple bags of groceries with all the seats filled, tuck small things away and keep electronics charged. The back row, is easy to drop for loads of space. The TP trunk test is always done with the third row folded and Santa Fe easily swallows 16 packs, the same as the larger Explorer. It's tough to find much to knock here. Okay, the steering is kind of numb and the wood-like trim won't fool too many people. Overall, the third generation Hyundai Santa Fe is a practical, comfortable, and stylish choice. One that could even make you proud to admit that you're a parent.